Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Consolidating the province's eight existing passenger train control rooms into a single high-tech super control centre that will act as Gauteng's passenger signalling hub, Prasa earlier this month officially launched the Gauteng Rail Nerve Centre in Tembisa. Engineering News' Natalie Grieve tells us more. Ushering in the latest investment aimed at upgrading and modernizing the country's ailing public rail transport network, the newly built centre, which will become fully operational early next year, will enable Prasa Rail operators to monitor all passenger train activities in Gauteng. The hub will introduce new technology enabling the re-signalling of sub-projects, automatic train routing, train tracking, event logging, closed-circuit television access at stations, and will feature an error detection and notification system. The centre will also house Prasa's rail maintenance facility and will, once fully operational, become the eye overlooking the parastatal's rail network. Transport Minister Dupur Peters explained that the concept had evolved following the undertaking of two feasibility studies into the establishment of a centralised rail operating control centre for the Metro Rail of Advertisrand region and looked to rejuvenate an outdated public transport system. The aim of the Gauteng Nerve Centre is to address process challenges due to railway infrastructure and, te and technology that has reached the end of its design lifespan. Poor levels of reliability and predictability high cost of maintenance, failure to contribute to an efficient transport system, inability to support economic activity, and limited access to socio-economic opportunities for rural and urban poor. The first thing our people complain about when you meet them in the trains is the reliability of the trains. Secondly, is issues of security. And if people are not going to be feeling safe in our trains, they are definitely going to vote with their feet and go and take a transport mode or a transport of their choice that they will feel will make them safe. So it is important that we realize that one of the 12 priorities of government is to make sure that the people of South Africa feel and are safe. And for me, what we are investing in here is an indication in the investment of that better life for all the people of South Africa, irrespective of their socio-economic standing. Also speaking at the launch of the centre, Gauteng Premier David Makura reaffirmed the provincial government's commitment to the provision of a safe and reliable public transport system for those unable to afford private transport. Today we are here, Minister, once more to send a strong message about the work that our government is doing towards the modernization of the commuter rail infrastructure, which is the backbone of our country's public transport system, particularly mass transit. I would like to commend the Minister of Transport, Minister Dipuo Peters and Prasa for taking what is a major step forward in positioning the commuter rail system in our country for the future. The new ultra-modern rail signaling and control system we are unveiling today will be a nerve center of a new passenger rail system that is more efficient, more reliable, safe, and integrated into our entire public transport system. 2015 marks the 30th anniversary of Caterpillar's first backhoe loader and coincides with the worldwide release of the latest generation F2 series, which was launched at supply chain services company Ballowood Logistics Big Dig Day in Kaya Sands, Johannesburg earlier this month. And Neen Vermeulen has the story. On the F2 series, the lockup torque converter provides a direct ratio between the power pack and driveline when in the rotating gears. This results in a 16% decrease in fuel consumption and an 11% increased average speed. The lockup torque converter is an invaluable addition when traveling between job sites. The aim was to make the cab more safer and more ergonomic and more comfortable for the operator. Um, looking at the F-Series 2 versus the F-1, the, F, the previous F-Series had curved glass, had a curved glass cab, whereas the F-2 has flat glass. Um, also, there's a lot of changes to the handles and some of the controls in the cab. One of the major changes is the uh, diff lock control. It used to be activated from the floor with the floor pedal. Now it's on the joystick so you can activate it with your thumb. It's just one of the, one of the main features. The others was uh, the tank on, on the front of the machine. Now we've, they kind of, uh, Caterpillar is trying to integrate safety from mining all the way to the bottom, uh, to the smallest machine. So the tank in, uh, includes a two-step system which is lower to the ground, makes it easier for whoever's operating, male or female, short or tall, 
to be able to get into the cab uh, yeah, safely. Uh, the handle on the door as well used to be for right-handed people and there was a bit of debate, okay, what if an operator is left-handed or not? So that's also been changed to suit both left-handed or right-handed operator. The CAT 416F2's pump capacity remains unchanged and all machines feature Caterpillar's proprietary load sensing hydraulics. The achievements of high bucket dig forces, whatever the engine speed, providing excellent control while reducing fuel consumption. Pilot controls provide low effort operation with the ability to switch between excavator or backhoe control patterns with the press of a button. A hydraulic quick coupler for the hoe is available direct from the factory, while twist to disconnect couplings are fitted for all work tools. The engine compartment uh, has been made more easier in terms of servicing. There's more doors and you're able to access the uh, radiator and the engine compartment to clean out the machine. Uh, regularly. Um, also the F-Series machine if you look at the cab is the, the cat backer loader is um, one of the, well, the only backer loader with an air suspension seat as standard in the industry. Uh, that's that's another way that Caterpillar aims to to provide operator comfort and increasing productivity. Meanwhile the AP600F Caterpillar paver was also launched at the Barlow World Big Dig Day. It is mainly used for road construction and paving. This is the first time this machine actually just arrived. Uh, it's launched this year all around the world, and this is the first machine in the country. So uh, just arrived on uh, last week, and this is the brand new launch, marketing launch for the product. The main couple features and benefits are again, the two and a half to five meter paving width, maximum of eight meters with uh, add-on extension kits. Uh, it has a 70 kilowatt generator that allows for the fastest screed heat time in the industry, about 15 minutes. It also has the new cat grade and slope controls fully integrated with the machine, uh, allowing you to monitor and communicate between the machine and the screed and making sure you're at the right temperature settings and uh, making sure the screed is set up properly. All hydraulic controls. It has the fastest screed heat in the industry, fully integrated controls, and has the Caterpillar product link, which allows the operator to communicate the health of the machine to the contractor. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.